That's fucking Edgar Wright. They got Edgar Wright in this fucking game. They got Edgar, they got fucking they got Edgar how they've got Edgar Wright. What? <laughs> what? No! All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to Death Stranding. I think this is part 8 and I am starting on the menu right now on my home my whatever. Um my home screen. <laughs> Basically, I was just in the private room where we left the last part off. I was just, you know, clearing things up. I was using the toilet. I was, like, going to the shower and all that. Just so I didn't have to show it in the part of, you know, the beginning of this video. And I've just gone to the sink. And look who's just shown up. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, a, a thing. I don't, I don't know. It's probably nothing. But I was so confused. So I just left it. And I was like, what? He just, it just... Popped right there. You just is teleported in, so we're gonna see what this is about. Oh, like it's nothing, but like seriously, like what is it? Oh, what? What? <gasps> That's weird, man. That is so weird. But there you go. I just went to the sink. That's all I did, and that happened. So it's just like I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know indeed. That is so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna take a drink, and we're gonna go. Couple deliveries. There was only three last time. We did one for Herman Hulst. Um, and we had to go through, like, this abandoned BT area. It was quite intense, but we did it. We did pretty good. We got a bowler gun, which was very handy against the mules. And now we have a blueprint for uh, a new bike. And yeah, things are looking pretty good. We also got these legs as well, these kind of robotic legs that help us to move faster and balance better. So yeah, I'm quite happy with every how everything's going so far. I, I very am very much. I think everything's recharged as well. I just want to make sure the BB's okay. He gave me a like in the last part as well. I don't know what that meant, but <laughs> look at him. Oh. Boo. Look, he's even got a little keychain on him. One more. You good? He just wants to sleep. He just wants to sleep. That's it. Just leave him alone, man. I'm gonna leave him alone. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Anyway, we're gonna get out. We're gonna blah, blah, blah and go and see what has to be done. Because Fragile said she wants to meet up with us, but I don't know where she is. So, yeah. One of these delivery missions is to deliver a fucking pizza as well in under 30 minutes, so. Yeah. <laughs> what the world looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. There's just one big continent. And do you know what this is? Oh, these are weird. I don't... The moon. Yes. The moon. I'll show you the real thing soon. I promise. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna get to see you soon. The whole wide world will be yours to explore. You'll be able to go wherever you want. Even the moon. I don't know if that's foreshadowing we're gonna end up on the moon, but with this game I wouldn't really be surprised. Look at that! Look at her bike! It's so cool having it. Oh, I am happy, 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 happy. Look at that! Oh! Alright, I gotta take it a new order right here. So, yeah. One of them was to deliver pizza, so I guess that's what we're gonna do first. I don't know. It literally- it says it's urgent. It says it's urgent. But I don't know. Uh, prototype, bot delivery, distribution, center south of Lake Not Sea. I think this was the one that they uh, wanted, um, that uh, Fragile wanted, but I really want to see what this one's about. It's not- look how- f it's not even far away. I don't know. I just- I- Dude, we gotta see what this one's about. I, we have to! We have to! I'm taking one. I'm taking one of these. I think we'll be okay with our PCC. So I'm leaving it there because I don't want to carry too much right now. Oh. Look at that. Just look, look at this. I, I'm so happy we have this thing now. 
This is one of the things he had at the beginning of the game. Oh, Make gosh. sure you carry pizzas properly at all times. <laughs> if you do something stupid, like turn it on its side, you'll ruin it. Oh, God. This game is so stupid, I swear. I just, uh, like, it's so weird. It's a get well pizza. A freshly baked get well pizza topped with ham. The container must be kept flat or the pizza will be spoiled. Like, I, I feel we better get something good out of this. Like, I don't know who we're delivering this for, this Peter guy, but, like, yeah. I swear, we better get a celebrity cameo if we're delivering this pizza. I want to see, I don't know, someone. I, I'll see, like, Robert Downey Jr. delivering him the pizza. How far away is it? It's not even that far. I don't even think it's that far. Um. Here it is. That can do that. I'm a pizza delivery man in the apocalypse or whatever it is. Oh my. Ah! I can ride and I'm so happy because of it. I left that thing here because I thought we were going to be using that, but now we're using this. He's up there, so as long as I stay on, the, on a good path, I think we'll be okay. I don't remember if that... Yeah, I don't remember if this highway thing was even made before. But still, like, it's helping so much. Oh no, oh no. Never mind. No, it's not. Okay. Can't it? Stop! Oh! Oh, it wasn't going to take me the right way anyway. I just, I don't want this piece to be ruined, man. We got to be good with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> ah! Good lord. I got to go through rocky territory as well. That's not going to help me. Oh my. All right, we're here. Almost. There he is. Oh, my God. Pizza delivery. Pizza time. It's so weird. I'm so, so, I just don't get it. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. It's raining as well. Hopefully, the time fall doesn't make his pizza age. And go all moldy. All right, here are we giving this to. I swear. I swear this better be a good cameo. If it's just a regular person, I'm going to be quite disappointed. There's your fucking pizza. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it while you, while it's still hot, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> Delivering cargo. Oh my. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. What? I don't even get to see who it was. It's just some guy under there. That's so That's lame. Come on, man. Thank you for your continued support. I just got blue balled. Dude, I just got hella blue balled right there. What was that? Good luck. Now I gotta go all the way back. Like, you, this game. That was nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Now I can take on another mission that's not food related. Uh, that was just so weird. I, I don't know what to say. But this thing's still here as well, in case I ever do need it. But uh, hopefully I can keep this bike lasting, you know, like a, a good enough amount of time for me to actually, you know, not break it. Because remember that when I had, like, episode 3 or something and I just drove off a cliff? And I was very sad. Or is it 5? 5 in part 5, actually. I don't think we did that in part 3. We didn't have one of these, did we? Oh, man. Gotta stretch my legs. Gotta stretch your robot legs, is what I'm talking about. Alright. What have we got now? Um... Okay, take on orders. So this one, this one's very, very close. So I'll do this one first. This one's for uh, Die Hard Man. So we'll do that quickly and see what that is. Um, like, where is it? Where's the thing? Like, I don't think I'm going to need anything, really. I'll take them anyway. Actually, do I already have these? No. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just, just go. I don't need it. If it's that close, why do I need anything then? You know. I don't know. That's what I think. <laughs> uh, I think I get it now. I think you have to... Yeah, you have to hold them. You have to hold down the triggers to do it. That is so weird. <sighs> Alright, they're here anyway. So can we just do this now? I have all your metals. Just rebuild it. <laughs> used to run through there back in the day. The first expedition team left behind a paver. But to finish the job... You'll need more than that. Okay. Yep. 
Yep. And yep. And yep. There you go. Is that enough? No, it's not. Oh, I know there's more here. <laughs> oh. There's still so many. Look at all this crap I've still got. Look at all this! We're almost there. Alright, there we go. We're done. You've contributed more materials than are required for this upgrade. Excess materials will be lost. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> All right. You know what I do need to do? I need to uh, I need to get some repair spray on. Um, there it is. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. What? I thought I did it. Why is it doing this to me? Rebuild the fucking road. Rebuild the fucking road. Oh, there you go. Is it good now? All right. I think we've got it now, which is fine. There you go. Everything needs chiral crystals. Oh. Ah! That's that's very helpful. Yes. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Oh my. Oh. Great job, Sam. That road is a sight to behold. This is only the beginning. Creating a transport network that spans the continent is key to our future. That's why it's important that you utilize any and every paper you come across to rebuild our highways and byways. Imagine how much easier your work would be if you could drive from coast to coast. That would actually be very helpful, I'm sure, but you know. Okay. Well... We got another mission on this terminal, and then I think we might meet up with Freja. We'll see how it goes, but for now, I just want to do this. I'm glad we got that road sword. It just took a while for me to get... I didn't realize you have, like, to hold, like, bigger metals like that. You have to hold down. You, um... You have to hold down X and... I mean, uh, R2 and L2. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway... <laughs> I'm losing my words, so let's just do this uh, last one that's on the map. So this one's quite far away. It's going through two mule territories. Um, so there's three items to deliver, and I need to deliver all. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that. We've prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. What do you mean you've got a bot for me? I don't like the idea. I don't like the sound of that. You know what's funny? It's the fact that this thing is so slow. It is so slow for a vehicle. But compared to walking and balancing everything on your way, it is like God's gift sent down from the heavens, isn't it? I don't know, like, the bikes, I guess maybe you could upgrade them a little later on for them to actually... Oh, there's no Carol bandwidth in this area. I think we'll be okay, though. It's just like, I don't know. Don't crash, though. I am not having you crash right now. Or get stuck. Get your ass up. I don't know, it just, like, makes you think like that, you know. Because it is a relaxing game if you just kind of play it like that. That's why I think that those, like, having mules in the game are just annoying. But, I don't know. That's just me. But there it is. On the horizon. We did it. They all look the same, don't they? They never change. I'm gonna fall down these rocks. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> it kind of remind. I don't remember. I think in Red Faction Guerrilla you could actually drive in vehicles. And it reminds me so much of that. But you didn't really did. You just moved around on Mars because it was like weird gravity. 
then you just smashed every single building to shreds. So there was that. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's unload this cargo and get in there. Or that, you know, do that, why not? <laughs> Alright, I want these on my back, you on my back, and I'll carry you by hand. Or whatever. <laughs> now that I know how to actually do that, oh no, wait, there is more. Oh my god, there's so much more. I still got one more. I've got to come back for this one, haven't I? Alright. I think that's enough. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> so weird. Got my robot legs, though. They help me out a lot. Oh. I just feel so much better that you've got all this stuff in the game. It really makes it a lot easier on me. So I like that. Yeah, okay. Alright, there's all your cargo. Yep. Take it all. All of it. You understand Porter then? Been expecting you. We were told you'd help with the bot testing too. But before we get to that, let's see how she's doing. Hmm. Pretty as a picture. Got nothing bad to say. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Oh my. Oh me. Oh my. <laughs> I'm level sixty-eight. I'm a master handler now. Oh, uh, you can now make strand contracts with other players. And you can also make cooperation requests in order to ask other players to contribute materials. And the period for which you can send likes has been increased for five... Why the fuck does that matter? Oh, I'm 71 now. Okay. I'm great handler. I moved over that quickly, didn't I? I'm recognized as mover. And I have achieved delivery volume grade 20. And I can carry more cargo. Nice. I'm happy with that. These bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. Oh, that feels good. Whole other area. Ugh. Oh, look at that! We're doing all, we're doing pretty good! I'm sorry, is that Edgar Wright? I'll say it again. I'm sorry, is that Edgar Wright? Director of my favorite movie of all time, or second favorite movie of all time, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. That's fucking Edgar Wright. They got Edgar Wright in this fucking game. They got Edgar, they got fucking they got Edgar how they've got Edgar Wright. What? <laughs> what? No! No! What? What? Oh. oh okay, I'm sorry. Had a little bit of a nerd breakdown then. Why is Edgar Wright in this game? Like, how did they approach him? They were just like, hey, man. Love your movies. Want to be in a video game? <laughs> Don't think it's his It's definitely not his voice, though. They got the likenesses down. Why? They got Bridge Boost level 2. That is so weird. This game's so weird. So weird. Oh, man. Okay, let's just let's just keep going. I just I don't get it. Like pizza, all right. Pizza's one thing for one video, but fucking Edgar Wright, what is happening? And there it is. <laughs> I'll start prepping for the test. You sit tight and wait for HQ to ring. Much obliged, Sam. <laughs> now the bots can enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human porters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the death of stranding, 
Scientists used to fret over the singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. So I'm still getting over the fact that Edgar Wright's in this game. It's so weird. Like, I know Conan O'Brien's in the game, because they showed that on uh, his show, but, like, I don't just... I Dude, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> it's actually a shame in the UK we don't get Conan. I just watch him on YouTube, but he's so funny. These autonomous delivery <sighs> bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. <laughs> Keep that in mind when sending them out. Okay. So, oh, it's for this dude again. Maybe he'll actually join us next time. So, less than 50% damage, one or more, and it's a mountainous area, so that's great. What's he got for us? What? What? <laughs> okay, he's just going. Right then, cool. <laughs> All right then. Now we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. Yeah. As of today, there's just one. But if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Please do. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Ooh. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry. Baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. Baby. We'll talk later. Okay. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone. From folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one too. Head for the private room. Go on. Cutscene time. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. There you go. You can just tell it's like um, it's like it's like that. It's a regular thing now. It's like three delivery missions and then rest. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of funny if you think about it. I don't know. I just do. It's all that has been funny though, hasn't it? <laughs> you get at least. Why is he sleeping in that? Like, all right, now I'm gonna go see Amali on the beach again, aren't I? Can already hear the waves. And there we are. Okay. <laughs> Or I'm back to this cutscene. <laughs> what? Well, that's not very good. That's some time fall I've been dipping my hands in. Yo, Fragile, did I say you could use that? <laughs> Just manners. Don't open it. Sam! She's like, bitch, please. I don't live here, but I'm going to use it. She's still not allowed to look at her, though. Sorry. Got... Didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Yeah, thanks for asking. <laughs> right. Oh, we all need to get clean. <sighs> okay. Look. 
I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, Fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying riding to Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. Oh. I blew it up. Well, then what? <laughs> Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. We'll see. All you have to do is call. Actually, I haven't used it yet. I haven't had any reason to. I, I, I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> okay. Well then. You know. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I still haven't had any monster yet, by the way. I still, have, I still need to get my hands on one. Or not, because, you know, I'm quite... I'm trying not to, you know, drink and eat as much shit. It's called losing weight, and I I don't really think they're going to help me out. Um, Honestly, all I drink is, like, water, really. I drink so much fucking water, that's it. Um, you know, like, drinking water was fucking boring, but I don't know. Like, that's the thing with me, like, I don't... I don't, like, go to a gym or anything, because, you know, money. But, like... I, uh, I just walk a lot. Not as much as Sam, but, like, you know. So, like, for example, my work, where I, my job, is 50-minute walk from my home. So, every single... And I work about five times a week, usually. Sometimes six. And I will walk to there. And if it's not dark out, like, if it's not, like, black pitch black outside, um, I'll walk home. If it is, then I'll get a bus. But, like, I will actually walk up to work. And I don't mind it. It's like peaceful. I love walking. Walking and just listening to music and all that, so it's nice. Anyway, I don't know what we've got to do next. We're probably going to get another one of those flashback things with BB. 
to uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Um, I don't even know what his name is yet, but, you know. Yep, here we are. We're going to get another one. I'm guessing he was holding a gun. I think they showed that in the launch trailer, but they showed way too fucking much story in that launch trailer. Way too much. Anyway, you re a road you rebuilt was used by someone else. Nice. Hey Sam, those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. Well, you better work and harder. completely locked out of BB-28 service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Okay. Sam, <clears throat> check the terminal for available orders. Yeah, 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 I know. All right. Pig set Rajala. You yeah. Stop me again. <laughs> so your cuff logs, and with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Metal Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. Hey. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. All right. Happy with that. All right. Thanks, Sam. Go away. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. <laughs> Fuck. Now, it might <laughs> seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try. Dude, it's just like premium service. All right, premium delivery service from the UCA costs $9.99 every month, all right? Um, Non-refundable. <laughs> You're stuck in it. Once you pay, you're never going back. Right, well, I got this one for this bot. I'm not able to do anything with them. Am I? Standard orders can be assigned to anonymous delivery bots. One order can be assigned to each bot. If all your bots have uh, already orders, then... Okay. That is so helpful. I'll take you to the engineer because he's the furthest away. Um, that is so helpful. I need this to happen more. Like, I'm actually really into the game now. I'm really, really into it a lot more. I liked it at the beginning. It was just, now, I'm getting speed and help. And these things are just funny. <laughs> Little doo-doo noises you make. All right, so I'm going to get... Now, that's one of them cleared up. So now I've got two for me. Kyrillium gauge delivery weather station. All right. 50% um, damage, fragile cargo, Alex Weatherstone. All right, let's do that. Uh, bridge boots, that's it. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Sam, sometimes other porters will return Bridge's vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want. Okay, thank you. Sure. It's already what I had anyway, so. It was just, it was like, I left outside. It's not like, you know, it was like, Massive. Why does that look like the head of a tall neck? On the, the little screen there. Um, yeah, they go on the boot clip, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> and then, from there, we're very, very, very good. So, let us leave and get on our merry way. Or I say that, I'm going to take out most of... I'm pretty much going to take out half the journey. So, you know...
Nice. Fine. All right. Ah! Thank you, um... Nihilate, whatever your fucking name is, I'll give you a light. Or I won't. No one heard me either. Oh well. Here we are. Let's go. How far away is it? Uh, that's not too bad. That's that's not too bad at all. Ugh. Also, I forgot we're in this area. There's so much rocky structures though. The terrain's so harsh and unforgiving in this game, it actually is like... I mean, you can have... there is vehicles in the game, and they work. But, I mean, walking's like the main thing you should do. Look at all this, there's probably anywhere I can go around. Because this is going to happen, isn't it? Oh my. Oh, look at that, that's cool. This is a weather... what is this thing called? A weather station. I don't know. I can't see anyway because I'm moving too fast. There is so the terrain in this area is ridiculous. This one actually was it took me a little while to get through on this vehicle. Maybe it's I think it's the game telling you don't use vehicles all the time. It's not the best option. Especially in areas like this. But I don't know. It still makes it faster. It just might make it a little more tedious. I don't know. We'll see how I feel later on. I made it. Probably not the way they envisioned, but I did. Yeah, yeah. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departing. All right. There you go. Delivering cargo. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? Reporting. We've been expecting you. <laughs> the gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Okay. Chiral? Chiral network. Come on. Special alloys can now be used at all UCA affili 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 affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the weather station has increased. Nice. Alright. What level am I now? 74, okay. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. Nice. You mind doing the honors? I just notice he's crying. Does that happen every time he does this? Huh. Hold on. Nice. Yeah. Alright, Weather Station has joined the UCA. And I've provided he's provided me with a new design, PCC level two. Ooh. And a flowing carrier, okay. Uh Cairo Clouds and Timefall. Okay. Timefall Ooh, that's what it is. Okay, local data from the weather station has enabled Bridges HQ to add data. This is going to help, I think. I don't know. I remember early on in the game, I was like, I need to find shelter from the, the rain. And there really isn't anything. There's a few, like, overhangs on some mountains, but that's it. But now we can actually make shelters, and that's going to help a lot. Also, I have, uh, the weather station has enabled Bridges, so to add new data for structures. Okay. Oh, that was a safe house. Oh, okay. That'll help with the rest and stuff, so. Got a lot of goodies there, didn't we? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. 
There's a significant impact on Kyrelium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the Chiral Network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the Chiral Density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. When are we going to meet her? I don't even know her name is. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Okay. Good work. New order available. Please ask. Well, what have we got to do now? Well, there's two. Okay. Well, this one's right here, so we'll do this one. Uh, construct a safe house. Yes, I had a feeling that we were going to be told. This order involves a lot of cargo. <laughs> Alright, okay. Here we are. Alright, you've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, Apparently. equip your PCC and select safe house. Okay. Which one is the PCC? There it is. Alright, safe house. Is, uh... Watchtower, post box, bridge, timefall shelter. I should have just gone with the one that had the the thing, the the house icon on it, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, I also dropped a bunch of stuff up there, so you know. There's that. It is cool though. I like that you get to you can do stuff like this. It tastes a lot of metals, I'm sure, but you know, it works well, so I'm happy for that. Look at that! Oh my god, wait, it's so tiny. Sam? What? You'll want to get those materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later. Okay. Alright, made it back with the last metal. Now we can do this. It's just uh I need a truck. That's all I need. One truck. One truck, please. Anyway, now we can build a safe house. I don't fall off. Alright, here we go. Complete the structure by giving you that. There we go, we're good. Let's go! I actually have to wait the full 10 seconds. Uh, here we go. Hey, look at that. That is nifty, nifty, nifty. Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy with how that turned out. Thank you, Sam. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who will use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station. But the people they help, and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. I mean, I think my stamina's alright for now, so I don't need to. I just want to do this mission for the weather station and see where this leads. Um, but there were a couple more back at Lake Knot. Um, there's nothing here anyway. Because, yeah, I've got to do a mission for him. But there's not, none back at... Uh, yeah, at the main base of operations, I'm just going to call it. I don't know how to detach this thing, by the way. Like, I'm trying to, and I just don't know what, I don't know what I'm meant to do. But, you know. Yeah. Tired. No, oh, Cryptobite, okay. Now I can go back to using the bike. I was just, it's the hassle of bringing it all around, isn't it? It always is. Anyway, let's do this mission. I just, we had to do, that was one of them, we had to do that one anyway, so. Yeah. What have we got to do today? Alright, take on orders for Sam. Um, wheat seed delivery <laughs> for a farmer, okay. Number of deliveries, alright, fine. Oh god, call. Apartment! Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger. 
we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Oh my god. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. <sighs> we reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here. Ooh, this is and a nice now. song, I think. It's another one of these moments, except now I'm driving, so it's gonna be it's gonna end a lot quicker, isn't it? It's gonna fall. There you go. It's just so you just know. Ah. Oh. Anyway, we did it. All right, deliver your requested cargo. <laughs> uh. Delivering cargo. Thank you. Ridges has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing, and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? With Albi, did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you. Epic. <laughs> I really need to stop. Well, these farmers can grow again. I didn't really listen to that one. I probably skipped that because that was not calming because I was just driving on really rocky terrain and it just looked terrible. So I might have just cut out that time where it was actually showing the, the play in the song. I don't know. It only played like about the first 30 seconds because I made it that quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. I usually like to keep those in, but no. All right. Where am I at now? 74. All right. 77. Get to 100 soon. <laughs> Fragile, would you? Oh god. If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her thanks for saving our hides. Oh. If she hadn't stepped up, South Knots and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All right, the network. Think you can get us online? Ah, oh, feels good, doesn't it? New strand established. Okay. <laughs> Timefall farm. Prepper interview. Timefall farmers. Okay. Ooh, what's this? So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, <laughs> to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Oh. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor. And cancel out their pulse with your own. Ah. Oh. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Yeah. Oh, well, that could probably help if I actually use it correctly. <laughs> and don't mess it up at the wrong time, so. <sighs> Thank you. Now to start really using Timefall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but... Without the ability to predict time fall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, We'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> 
I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May oh, as well great. make use of the return trip. Oh, come on, man. I don't want to... Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Do I have to, or...? Well, no, it's like... But, like... So... <laughs> right. Okay. So... I gotta go back there. And, yeah. That should be fun. I'll try my best. Aw, oh, look, they're waving. Um... Yeah, you know what? Um, I think that I am going to leave this part of Death Stranding here. Um, so I'll probably start the next part up when we're actually... I'll just try... I'm just going to travel there now. Because there's no point in me riding all the way up there, cutting it out, just to end it there. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I'm having fun with the game. You know, probably doesn't look like it's that fun, but I am. And I'm, I'm liking a lot more now that we have a lot of these new abilities... Uh, new vehicles at our disposal, and now we have all these new things that we can build, and it's just making it a lot more easier to go to, to play through. So I'm having fun with it, and I'm enjoying it, and uh, hopefully we're going to get into a lot more story in the next one, because the last two parts really haven't had anything, but we had Edgar Wright in this episode and pizza delivery, so I think that was good enough for anyone. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for this part of Death Stranding. I hope you all enjoyed, and with all of that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.